Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on determining the number of years before a value increased to some multiple given some known compound percentage increase. So let's read the problem first. A rabbit population is 3,000 and increases by 15% each year. How many years will it be before the population doubles? Now the first thing to note is that actually uh, we didn't need the original population. Um, we could just say a rabbit population increases by 15% each year, how many years will it be before the population doubles? We can just start with any value we like for the rabbit population. So let's just say that the rabbit population is 1,000 and we're increasing by 15% each year. Now do you remember, we could use this formula, that the new value, and this is the formula for compound changes, the new value is equal to the original value multiplied by the decimal multiplier, I'll explain that in a second, to the power of how many years there are. So that's the form we're going to use. So let's fill in these values into it. The new value, well the original value, let's say there's a thousand rabbits, multiplied by the decimal multiplier, we want to increase by 15% and in previous videos we could see that we could multiply by 1.15 to represent a 15% increase. If you don't understand that, then look at my other videos first. To the power of the number of years, well we don't know how many years it is, so we're going to have to keep that as n for the moment. And that then doubles the population. So if we had a thousand rabbits, we then have 2,000 rabbits. And basically, we just want to solve this equation to find n, the number of years of increase of this 15%. First thing to note is we could divide both sides by 1,000. So 2,000 divided by 1,000 would just be 2. And then that gets rid of the 1,000. So we just got 1.15 to the n is equal to 2. And that's why it doesn't matter what the population originally was, because let's just say that was 100 and that was 200. 200 divided by 100 would still be 2. It doesn't matter what value you start with. Now, how are we going to solve this? Well, the way you expect to do it is just to use trial and error. So we could just try different powers of n until 1.15 to that power of n is going to give you 2. Well, let's first say try 1.15 to the power of 4. To the power of 4, you get 1.749. That's not yet 2, is it? What about 1.15 to the power of 5? you get 2.011. And we can see that after five years, the population would have reached over double. And therefore, the answer is five years. So n was five. Now you might wonder if there's a way we could actually work out n algebraically without having to use try and error. And that actually is, but it uses knowledge that you'll probably learn when you're about sort of 16, 17. But let me just quickly teach you. If you're trying to find an unknown power, we can actually use something called logarithms. Now, the log button is this button here. It's got two squares next to it. And what I want to do is log base, and we have a little number here. Whatever this base is here, the exponential 1.15, we're going to put here. And then we're going to do log base 1.15 of 2. Now, don't worry about too much what this means, but basically that little number should be the base of your exponential. And if you put it on your calculator, so log base 1.15, and then press the right key to put in the 2 that you have over here, and that gives you 4.959. So we can see after exactly 4.959 years, the rabbit population will reach double. And that means after five years, we would have definitely got past double.